Hello everyone, this is Gerald Schwartz again with the County of San Mateo Office of Sustainability and today I'm going to talk to you about our third game out of the 4Rs game units. This one is called the 4Rs board game. So let me tell you before you start the game what you need. First of all, you need a board of course and I have it right here. Also that comes with the game is you have a stack of decision question cards. These are the blue cards right here. And I'm just going to put that right here. And then you'll also need these green set of cards, the fact question cards. I'll put that right there. Also, what you might need is a dice. So this is good for rolling, of course. And also game pieces. I like to reuse bottle caps for game pieces. Okay. So let me tell you about this game. If you look at the game here, and if you play the Pathway of Steps game before playing this game, you'll notice in this board, these diagrams here represents the Pathway of Stuff. So positive things such as reusing different things, recycling and composting actually help move players up the board, and negative things such as garbage getting landfills will move folks down towards the bottom of the board. How this board game played, being played is very similar to Shoots or Ladders or Candyland, okay, with a little twist. So basically what you do, once you decide who goes first and second and third for your players, um, what you're going to do is you're going to roll, you're going to start right here where it says start okay you're gonna put your put your piece down and you're gonna roll the dice okay so when you roll the dice you might end up for example here okay nothing happens there and then you roll it again and then you keep going but what's different the difference between this game and other games is that if you land on a spot that says answer a fact question card so say I roll the dice and I land it here. It says answer fact question card. So what you do, you just follow the directions. Someone's gonna quiz you on a fact question card. So this one says, what is the name of the liquid that accumulates in the landfill and is removed and treated as wastewater? A, leachate, B, water, C, sodium bicarbonate, D, salt water, or E, all of the above. So the an correct answer is leachate. So if you answer a fact question card correctly, you're gonna move up. So you basically skip a bun bunch of these steps and you move up towards this square right here. Then you can answer other fact question card. And if that's answered quite correctly, then you move up again. Okay, so that's what happens when you land on a fact question card. Also, I want you to note, if you answer the question wrong on the fact question card, you just stay where you are. So if you start it here and you answered it wrong, you just stay there. Okay. If you are a piece and you land on something that says answer a decision question card, that's this one right here. Now the decision question card, of course, not about facts, but about decisions. So if you answer the card correctly, you stay where you are, where you are, excuse me. And if you, and if you answer it incorrectly, you actually will move down the board again. So for example, when you have clothing that you no longer need, what should you do with them? Recycle them, donate them, throw them away as garbage, or D, compost them. So someone's gonna ask you that question in your team or with other competitors, of course. And then if you answer it wrong, for example, if you said recycle them, well, you can't recycle clothing. You can only donate them. So if you answer them wrong, you're gonna move down, okay? Down the board. But if you answered that correctly, for example, and you said, Donate them, you just stay where you are. You're not penalized. So you have to follow the arrows. So that's how you play the game. Hopefully this is enough to get you started. Thanks.